But the animal we're going to talk about today is a reptile. This one was in Louisiana during Hurricane Katrina, actually in Louisiana, Texas area during Hurricane Katrina. It was washed up out of the swamp, deposited into the middle of the street of Interstate 10, which is a big, huge highway that goes across Texas, um, with a giant stick stuck in the bottom of his shell. This is the largest species of freshwater turtle we have in the United States. It is called an alligator snapping turtle. And everything from Texas is... Big. Yeah, you know, I don't like that word. I'm changing it. We're doing huge. Yes. Everything from Texas is... Huge. Yeah, that's not good enough. Everything from Texas is... Huge. That's better. Let's introduce you to Tex. He is awesome animal from, from Texas. And, oh, no. Oh, he went to the bathroom. You know what? We're not going to see him today. Is that okay? No. Our last day here at the zoo is tomorrow. You can come back and see him. All right. No. You want me to reach my hands and all that dookie? Yes. All right, but I'm going to have to wipe him on. What was her name? Angela? No, what was her name? That's it. Is it Angela? Angela. Where is she? She's right there. Yes, I'm going to wipe it all over you, Angela. Okay. All right. Is that okay with you? No. No? All right. All right. Well, I guess we're not going to see him then. Well, I'll get him out. He didn't go to the bathroom. There we go. All right, I'm going to need a three count. I'm going to go one. You guys are going to go two, three. Here we go. One, two, three. Yes. Here's the thing about audience participation. It has to be loud. Are you ready? All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, my gosh. Get out of the box. He's like, he's like that wasn't loud enough. All right, let's try it again. One, two, three. There we go. He was hanging on the edge of the box. Now this is my friend Tex. Everyone say hi to Tex. Hi, Tex. Now Tex is an alligator snapping turtle. Look at that face. Isn't that a face only a mom could love? It is. I love you, yes. All right. Now alligator snapping turtles come from the southern United States. They live from the panhandle of Florida all the way over to Texas, and they go up through the Mississippi River into Missouri and places like that. They have the largest range of any, one of the largest ranges of any turtle in the country, the alligator snapping turtle. Our common snapping turtles are here, and they have a huge range all over the U.S., but they don't look like this. These guys have huge, massive heads, and I'll tell you why they have those in just a couple minutes, but this is how they get their name. If you look on the back of his shell, he has that beautiful ridges on his shell. They're much higher than our common snapping turtles that we have here. And that's how he gets his name. He's also a bigger turtle. These guys, when they're full grown, get much, much bigger. We'll talk about that also. Now look at that head. Is that bigger than our common snapping turtles? Yeah. Now they're both carnivores. They eat meat. meat. So these guys will actually eat fish. If you look inside his mouth, there's a little lure in there, a little pink lure. That little pink lure in there wiggles around and uh, a fish comes in and sees it, tries to eat it, and, 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 oh, that was very poor, Tex. Well, he snaps and he eats that tur he eats that fish, okay? He'll also eat ducks, he'll eat uh, crabs, he'll eat snakes, and the other really cool thing that they eat is small mammals that go through the water. So if there's a possum or a skunk or something like that in the water, they would absolutely try to eat that animal, okay? Um, and uh, that's why he has that little lure in there for fish and things. But scientists have found, thank you. Scientists have found, <laughs> kind of cool, isn't it? Anybody want to give me their hand? No. Scientists have found animals like this, and the reason they have their big heads like this is because they're cannibals, guys. They eat other turtles. So that pointed beak there will go right through a turtle, He'll break it up into pieces, and he can swallow it and digest it, okay? That's why alligator snapping turtles have these great, big, huge heads. They have a snorkel nose right there on the end of his nose. You'll notice all this stuff that's kind of on him here. It's actually growing on him. It's part of him, and it acts like a camouflage when he's under the water in the swamps of the southern United States and those states where he lives. He has claws for digging deeply down into the mud, and he uses camouflage for his environment because he never, ever gets out of the swamp or the water unless it's a female. Females will get out, of course, to lay eggs. Now, what do all turtles in the world have? Shell. Right, shells. The back of the shell right here is called a carapace. Can you guys say that? Carapace. Very good. The bottom of the shell right there 
is called a plastron. Can you say that? Plastron. Doesn't that kind of look like a satellite dish on top of a house? Yeah. And if you point him towards Florida, we could pick up Nickelodeon on him. Do you guys watch Nickelodeon? Yeah. Hey, anybody ever see the episode of Rugrats where Chucky swallowed a watermelon seed? And he dreamed that everybody went in through his nose and then Jonka got stuck in his boogers? Yeah. That's disgusting. Yeah. Anybody watch Blue's Clues anymore? I love baby paprika, but Joe has got to go. I want Steve back. Me too, I want Steve back. Yeah? Yeah, uh, he's been at college way too long. Yeah. And who loves uh, SpongeBob SquarePants? And what's the name of that snail? Um, yeah, you guys, I'm ordering you back to school next week because you're not reading any books. Yes. Um, so guys, you can't pick up TV on a turtle. You'll notice while I, when I pick him up that he doesn't have a full shell underneath his body. It's only a partial shell. That's because he lives in the mud under the ponds and the rivers and the bayous. Did you guys see the Galapagos and the Aldabra tortoise as you came into Beardsley Zoo today? Those animals have full shells on the bottom. If it's a boy land turtle, it has a dished out area. Looks like somebody took an ice cream scoop and scooped him out. If it's a girl, they have perfectly flat shells for more room in their stomach to carry eggs so they can have baby right. Now, scientists think, and we honestly believe, and there's none of them that will admit it, except for me, that these animals can live about 200 years. If you want to tell the age of a turtle, take a magnifying glass, count the rings on the shell like you do a... 100 rings on a shell, how old is it? About 45 years old, approximately. So is counting the rings on a turtle shell a good way to tell its age? It is not. And when a scientist uh, is doing that, he's guessing. What do they call a guess in science? What? That's excellent. That's the second question right. You are going to get fed to an alligator today. Excellent. Right. Well, that's absolutely right. Hypothesis. When you hear a scientist say that, though, he has no idea what he's talking about. Right? It's just an educated guess. Guys, we have found alligator snapping turtles within the past five years that have had bumps in their shells. We have dug live animals. We have dug into those bumps and we have found musket balls from the Civil War. We found flint from arrows inside their shells. So we know, and I'm going out on a limb, but these guys can live a lot longer than maybe 200 years. So uh, we're going we're gonna to say that and be done with it. Now, this guy gets big. One of the it is the largest freshwater turtle we have in the United States. He will be bigger than that blue box when he is full grown. He will weigh over 200 pounds, maybe up to 250 pounds, and they'll have he'll have a he'll have a bigger head than I do. Okay, <laughs> sir, he will have a bigger head than your hat. All right, so they will have huge, huge heads. All right. Um, one more thing. These guys at our snapping turtles are sleeping in the winter time. They are under the ice, under the water, under the mud. How are they breathing? Anybody know? How are they breathing? Anybody? Just guess. Come on, somebody. Yes. Um, they breathe. Right here in their mouth. Well, <laughs> because they're sleeping, they don't breathe through their mouth. But that's a great guess. Yes. They don't breathe through their skin like a frog. Yes, over here. Is there air inside their shell? No. Actually, guys, it's kind of cool because they breathe through their butts. Back here in their uh, tissue of the tail, there's very vascular tissue. They can pick that oxygen up and they can very easily survive under the water for many, many, many months underneath that water, okay? Um, and uh, it's a very cool adaptation that they have. I think we're done with him. You guys want to see another animal?